guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well i don't know why but my eyes look really like puffy today and i think it's because like it's been quite warm today um in leicester uh, Alhamdulillah, it's been really nice but it's just the fact that you know because it's getting muggy and i feel like the pollen's coming through um i suffer from like hay fever so i feel like my eyes are like really like, can you see guys just here literally <laughs> it's disgusting but guys yeah i just thought i'd speak to you guys about something that's I don't know if, I mean, I can't say it's personal, but I don't mind really speaking about it, guys. It's just, um, I think I made a video about, um, depression. And I'm that I could never say that I've, like, been clinically proven about having depression or anything like that. But, um, this time it's, like, talk time, but it's more about stress. How I get stressed and why I get stressed and stress, 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 stress. So, a lot of times, um... I mean, guys, comment below if you, you know, go through the same thing and, or, like, just let me know, like, how you guys deal with it as well. But obviously everyone goes through stress in certain aspects of their life, you know, like whether it's a career or a, a job, mm, career and job is the same thing, Sally, or, you know what I mean, career or um, like education, wh wherever it may be, um, I feel like people handle stress in a different way. So uh, as I was saying, people deal with stress in different ways and I feel like when it comes to me personally, um, I end up stressing over the smallest things ever. It's so weird. It's like I'm the type of person that, you know, people may think of as very straight up and straightforward. And yeah, I am. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But I always think that like, what would someone feel if they were in my shoes? Like, if, sorry, if I was in their shoes. I can't even speak because I'm so sorry. What would I feel like if I was in their shoes and I was as straightforward as I would be? Like, how would it be if I was to hear myself back? And I'll stress over little things like that or, um, you know, I get paranoid about as to why someone might be looking at me. Like, why are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? And stuff like that. When it comes to, like, more serious things, though, guys, like, when there's actual serious, as you know, it's the serious situations in your life, um... Seriously, the best way to actually, like, try and sort yourself out is to try and organise things, like... At times, for me, to make my life easier, I actually meal prep just so I know what I can do um, on certain days. So I don't have to worry about it and think, right, oh my god, I don't know what to eat. Or what am I going to do? How am I going to do it? I haven't got enough ingredients. And then I'll stress about, oh, I need to go to the shops and I need to do this and this and this and this in a certain order. And I know I don't know if it sounds very OCD-like. Uh, and I don't mean to offend anyone that may have um, OCD. But honestly, sometimes I do feel like there's certain things in my life where I feel like I have to have it in a particular way. And I don't know if that's just the way um, it is like for you for us an actual person, I don't know if it's actually the way it should be, but it's like obviously actually me actually having the feeling of having this day in day out every single day and constantly thinking things through like how would um I do this and I need to get it sorted out in my head before I actually go and actually plan it. I mean sorry actually action it. So I have to plan before I actually do the thing. I can't do the thing that I need to do and then kind of improve on it and be like, okay, next time I'll just, you know, I'll just organise it better or I'll just make sure I have the ingredients. I have to make sure that everything is organised as in, like, I have to make sure the ingredients are there and, like, the pan that I need is there and, like, everything's right, the right quantities and then I can start, like, I couldn't, like, go to and fro. Um, but then saying that, I'm a very good multitasker, like, I'm not being vain, but I feel like I can multitask now and again as well, like... So it's so confusing, like, I don't know if anyone else feels like this, I just thought I'd bring it out there, because, like, there's a lot of things that people stress out about, and they don't need to, like, like I said, organising is one thing, and trying to worry less, sometimes, I know it's so hard, and, guys, I'm saying this because even I'm going through it, like, this, for example, like, I'm worrying about why I broke up there, broke up there, it's like, guys, you're gonna break up, if, like, you, like I say, you don't realise, um, like, mentally, if you're stressing out about something, physically, it's going to show, sometimes, if you get, you get really tired, or <laughs> talk circles, breakouts, it's normal for anyone to stress out, I'm not saying that I am so stressed, I've got such a hard life, and look at all of this, and I'm not saying any of that, guys, you know, it shows differently on different people, for me, clearly, it's physically, as well as mentally, um, but I would just say that to deal with stress is better than to leave it, just to leave it and not actually do anything about it. Um, you know, if you feel like it's getting a bit too much, speak to someone about it. Try and ease, like, the pressure off yourself. Try and kind of distribute it. If you're living with family, try and, you know, distribute it. If you're living with your husband and wife, you know, try and equal everything out. You know, don't expect, like, you to do everything and not your husband or your husband. Expecting him to, you know, think about how you would feel if you were here, your husband, and he's doing everything and you're not doing nothing. You know, you need to equal it out, guys. Um, 
clearly I'm not saying that it doesn't happen with me and Yusuf, which is why I'm like this. It's not that. It's just I just genuinely have always and I think I always will stress out more about things. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. I've got a really itchy eye. Oh. God, sorry, guys. But yeah, it's just like you need to distribute like certain responsibilities. Like even if it's just washing up the dishes and doing the laundry and it's just not really simple things like that, making the bed and you know, simple ironing clothes, you know, I could just, the list can go on. I could got so many things that you could do together. And for someone like me, if I know that I've got all that to do, then I've got work to go to, then I've got to do this and I've got to do that, then I've got to do that. You can't tend to stress out if you don't know um, that you're that type of person. Like I've really realized recently, not even recently, for quite some time now, that I have been a type of per that type of person where I have to have certain things done um, before a certain time. And sometimes it's good because I get more done. Um, sometimes though, I will be honest, I wish I didn't so much because I feel like I'm always worrying about things being done at certain times in certain ways and, you know, by certain people. And, you know, sometimes you wish that, if I, you know, sometimes not you wish, I wish that if I didn't stress out so much, then I think I would have been, you know, it's just more chill, you're more relaxed. I think you know, I just wish I had that balance. I mean, I have that balance now and again, but sometimes it can just lose out. But like, guys, I just thought I'd speak about it because I don't really know if I've ever spoke about it in a lot of detail. So I thought I'd just address a whole video to it. And I don't know if like anyone else out there is going through anything like this, because if you are, then just let me know. I mean, it's not shameful. I'm clearly talking about it. It's stress, like I said, everyone goes through it. So it's not like it's something to be ashamed of. And even if there was anything greater than stress, you should speak about it because, like I said, you don't realise it doesn't just mentally mess you up. Sometimes it physically messes you up to the point where you're so tired because you're so, like, your body, your, sorry, your brain feels so drained from thinking about things constantly that your body is always so drained out um, and, you know, it's normal, I guess, <laughs> to stress. But it's not normal to stress out so much, I don't think. But I mean, at the end of the day, if you feel like it's getting like out of hand, then obviously speak to someone that's you know that's a specialist, you know, like a doctor, a pharmacist, or someone that will be able to you know assist you further. And of course, like I said, if you've got anyone that you can speak to just about any matters, any personal matters, or you know, career or education matters that might just be you know running through your head like day and night, then just speak to someone that you can be comfortable with and just try and get that sorted because. If you can speak to someone and that, that was literally just something small and you were like, oh, okay, that got resolved easily, then, you know, inshallah, like, that'll be one less thing for you to worry about. At the end of the day, I've always said life is so short and there's a lot of things, like, people worry about, but really, I mean, you have to always keep in mind that we're only here for some time and, you know, this isn't, this is just dunya, like, you know, this a big like hereafter that we're all trying to run for you know we're all trying to aim for Jannah and at the end of the day that is one thing that we should be stressing about more than anything trying to please Allah and trying to you know do the best that we can as Muslims um as people as humans you know morally and you know using certain principles that you should in just trying to try and aim for things like that and I know it sounds really like Islamic and there's so much hadith into that but I'm honestly just saying that off the top of my heart like I'm just saying now I'm not thinking about deep matters but it's just it was just there that we really realistically should be worrying about things like that but I know obviously the dunya gets caught up in you and you know obviously you're gonna end up getting caught up in everything else that you need to like worry about as well. guys yeah anyway I know I've just been rambling on I just felt like I needed to get that off my chest so thank you guys for listening and if you have made it this far to the video thank you so much <laughs> and give a big massive thumbs up if you have and if you did like this video then don't forget to give it a big massive thumbs up and don't forget to like comment and if you already haven't then subscribe and guys to be fair if there is anything like this that you wanted me to speak about then by all means let me know and also guys if you you know have gone through something like this then just even if you want to privately message me guys i've always said you know where all my links are it'll be in the description box and until next time guys you take care see you later bye